Hi, everybody. My name is Dr. Francisco Lopez Jimenez. I am the co-director of Artificial Intelligence in Cardiology at Mayo Clinic, and also the chair of the Division of Preventive Cardiology at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. Today, I will talk about artificial intelligence in cardiology. But before I do that, let me just give you a brief introduction of artificial intelligence in general. So what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is defined as the ability to make computers or machines learn to solve problems that will otherwise require a human to do it. Now we hear about AI every day, but more importantly, we're using artificial intelligence or AI as we call every day. We use it with our uh, cell phones, especially if you have face recognition, fingerprint recognition. Every time you do a Google search, the computer already knows your preferences, your tastes, your, your likes, and will accommodate those searches according to your personal history. That's something the computer has been learning. The banks are using AI to monitor transactions to detect fraud. So AI, is being used everywhere, every day, and we are using that from morning to night. There are a few things that are important to clarify when we talk about AI or artificial intelligence. Number one is that robotics is not the same as artificial intelligence. Robots can do many things, but not necessarily be smart. Some of them are, and actually the goal is to make robotics uh, together with artificial intelligence a big part of our daily lives, but it's not the same. Automatization is not the same as artificial intelligence. For example, you might have smart lights in your home that you, um, you don't have to turn it on and off. They do that automatically. But that doesn't mean that they are smart or that they have learned to do that. It's just that they follow some uh, automatic processes, so they work without you having to do anything else. But that doesn't mean that they have learned. So automatization is not the same as artificial intelligence. Now let's talk about artificial intelligence in medicine. Artificial intelligence, or AI for short, is used to diagnose many medical conditions. Uh, for example, Lung cancer can be detected by computers in CAT scans with the same or actually better accuracy than expert radiologists can do. In the same way, skin cancer can be detected by computers using or analyzing pictures and tell you the probability for that particular skin lesion to be cancer or when to be concerned about it. There are some interesting studies assessing the eyes of people with diabetes trying to identify retinopathy, a common and very dangerous condition that may uh, people lead to blindness. So people can become blind if this retinopathy or this eye problem is not detected on time. So with the use of some special cameras and even smartphones and artificial intelligence, some investigators have shown how we can detect these even in remote places on earth where there are no doctors close by to identify people at risk for this very dangerous eye condition. Artificial intelligence is being used to identify people who might benefit from surgeries and also the opposite, people who might be at the highest risk for a particular, during a particular surgery for having major complications. Artificial intelligence is being used to detect people with depression just by assessing their voice. So the computer records the voice of the patient or the person and will tell you that that person is at a very high likelihood to be severely depressed. So what do we have regarding artificial intelligence in cardiology? Well, this is, this is an area that is evolving very quickly very quickly. There are so many studies being done right now, and there are publication, publications on artificial intelligence being uh, released almost every week. 
it's even, it's even hard to keep up with all the data coming out regarding artificial intelligence in cardiology. The reason might be because heart attacks and heart conditions are the number one cause of death around the globe. So there is a certain reason to have artificial intelligence tools applied in cardiology. We have seen amazing discoveries in the last few years. For example, artificial intelligence can analyze the electrocardiogram to detect people who have a failing heart. As you know, the electrocardiogram is a very old technique being used by doctors for more than 100 years. It's an electrical assessment of the heart that is being used to detect heart attacks and many other conditions. However, we have shown how artificial intelligence can detect people whose heart is just not pumping very well. That's a very serious condition. People who have this condition are at risk for sudden death. So doing an, an electrocardiogram, and especially if we are able to do this with, with, with simple technology, that would be a major, a major advance in cardiology and medicine. Uh, there are other ways to use artificial intelligence in cardiology. For example, investigators are using artificial intelligence to detect people who might go back to the hospital after being in the hospital being treated for a heart condition. We can also better identify people at risk for a heart attack or people at risk to develop heart failure over time using special algorithms and, and technology uh, using artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is also being used in cardiology to analyze and interpret complex heart scans. That will very likely lead to less errors, to have more consistency in the way we detect heart conditions with ultrasound, nuclear medicine, and other uh, complex heart studies. This is really the beginning of a new era in medicine. We can call this a revolution, a good revolution. The revolution of artificial intelligence in general, but particularly artificial intelligence in medicine. This is going to help doctors to be more accurate making diagnosis, giving patients precise treatments, tailored treatments for those who will benefit the most. Artificial intelligence is going to help doctors to be more efficient, to have less bias, to make less mistakes, either diagnosing or treating patients. But more importantly, artificial intelligence is going to give doctors more time to do what we love to do the most, which is spending more time listening, examining, counseling our patients, interacting with our patients. Artificial intelligence is going to make medicine more efficient, better for patients, for doctors, and for society overall. Thank you very much.